Hello and welcome to another video of Commodore 64 games loading from their original cassettes. These cassettes are all part of my collection. I have about 400 uh, games for the Commodore 64. And uh, it's my goal to make a video of each one of them, stick them up there on YouTube, um, just to see, number one, if they still work. And to... Uh, bring back some memories. So today's game that I'm going to be adding uh, to that playlist is a game from Durrell Software. It's uh, a helicopter simulation and the name of the game is Combat Lynx. Now I, I vaguely recall playing this back in the 80s but I can't remember the specifics. Um, so what I'll do is I'm just about to get it loaded up from tape. I'm just waiting for it to finish rewinding. But yeah, this was released in 1984 by Durrell Software. So all right, so let's get the uh, the game loaded. I haven't tried loading this game since uh, since the 1980s, and I noticed that my copy of the tape uh, that I just put in the cassette deck was not rewound. So it was actually in the middle of like the ferrous part of the tape so I'm not sure if this tape's even going to work if you've seen any of my other videos you know I do these I do make these videos on one take that's why they look so so amateur um, I don't have any fancy graphics or anything else going on it's just uh, just me and the Commodore 64 being captured by uh, by this RE Central software alright so it looks like it did find the initial file I don't recall though how long this game actually takes to load from cassette, but I wouldn't say that it takes more than four or five minutes. Call that links. Now I don't know if it's anything like uh Another helicopter simulation that uh, I had a hard time playing back in the 80s, that game was Infiltrator. Uh, that game was really difficult, but it was like, you know, you were so determined to, to play it, to master flying that helicopter. Like, once you got it off the ground, that was one thing, but then after you flew around towards the objective, I remember that uh, it was <laughs> I had a hard time trying to land that thing without crashing it. Now... As far as Combat Lynx is concerned, um, my guess is that it's a lot easier. I mean, that game, the Infiltrator, was really hard. Combat Lynx was released for the ZX Spectrum as well as uh, this Commodore 64 version. I think it might have been out with the Amstrad as well. As you can see there in that screenshot, it warns about your cassette being blue or not having Durrell on the leader th on the leader strip. Well, I do want to say that my game is authentic. I my cassette is blue, and the leader strip does indeed say Durrell. Now yeah, that's not to say I don't have any bootleg games. I do, but this is not one of them. So, uh, there's no loading music, as you probably gathered. Uh, there is a loading screen picture. Uh, 
uh, while it is loading, I just want to take a moment. If you want a game added to that definitive playlist that I mentioned earlier, the uh, 100 hours, 400 games, um, by all means, leave a comment below. Um, there's a good chance I probably have it. Uh, but if not, I'll certainly do my best to acquire that game for you and put it in there. Now, most of my games are cassette-based. I do have a few disc-based games that I that I actually acquired back in the early 2000s once I was here in the US and I bought um, some Commodore 64 equipment uh, from eBay back in the early 2000s. Picked up a lot of stuff cheap and uh, got a ton load of uh, those floppy diskettes. But then, you know, since I never made them, they're not properly indexed. But there are a few original games in there too. But yeah, most of my games are cassette-based because I... I am from the UK, now living in Florida, US, uh, but as many of you know, the in the UK, primary method of getting your Commodore 64 software was on cassette for about £8 or £9. Diskettes were, I think, about £15, but hardly anyone had a disk drive. I mean, if you did, you must have been loaded, you must have had some money, because the disk drives used to cost, I think, like £150, £200, I think, which was close to the price of the Commodore 64 itself. But the cassette deck, the uh, 1530 data set, was included with your Commodore 64, I think in most bundles, so it was logical that you would uh, just continue to buy your games on cassette. The only downside about the cassette was that, um, you know, you couldn't, if you, uh, your, your high scores were not saved as they were with uh, disc-based games. Or should I say, some disk based games. Uh, so, games like, you know, Summer Games, Summer Games 2, Winter Games, it would always retain the highest scores on diskette. But cassette, you shut off the computer, turn it back on, you had to uh, set those world records all over again. Talk about that, uh, Summer Games is going to be one of the upcoming videos uh, in the very near future. So keep your eyes open for that, as will Winter Games 2. That's another one that I've got coming up this week uh, in September 2021. So keep your eyes open for that. All right, just in time. It looks like uh, the game has loaded up. Now, if you've seen any of my other videos, uh, you would have seen that... Um, I have a really hard time um, playing these, playing any of these games after not touching them for like 30 years. So, trust me. Uh, even though I'm picking level one here, which I'm which uh, which indicates here that it's the easiest level, uh, that doesn't mean it's going to be walking apart. It's going to be a tough game. All right. So you know what? I'm not going to get too fancy here. I'm going to just go ahead and go with the standard weapon load out by hitting return now I don't hear any sound all right so it looks like we're on our way uh, trying to figure out a Uh, just trying to just trying to get the controls navigated. I'm not sure if that was aimed at me, but you know what? Let me just uh, up. Oh. I don't know why it landed. You know what? Let me just try the other controller because maybe that's what the problem is. No, the other controller is totally non-responsive. All right, let's take off. I'm not sure how to advance. How do we move forward? Go on, get up. So I can go up and down. All right, let's go. Got it facing that way. Do I have to, is it just like left to right or? Oh, I just uh, crashed 
sticking to the ground there. All right, let's try this again. So now what I usually do, I usually try to figure it out a couple of times before I then decide to read the instruction manual. But let's see what happens. Now I'm not sure how to attack. I'm pressing the fire button. But I can't seem to... Just restarted the game. Come on, let's get out of here. So, uh, maybe this is a keyboard only game. Oh, it looks like it might be because I'm pressing random keys here. We're just going to hover there for a moment. It's time to grab the cassette box and see if there's any indication of how I can how I can control this thing. And you know what? There's, there's no instructions in this box. There is no instructions here. So uh, yeah, that's going to be interesting. Let me see if if I can find some instructions on the internet. Even Google can't find controls for this game. Uh, oh, I might found something here. Let's see. Now that little booklet, I don't know where it is, I never got that. saying that the uh... oh my goodness you can play with both joysticks you have to play with both joysticks oh my goodness no wonder I can't control this thing <laughs> I've got to have joystick in one and two or I use the keyboard so this is two all right let's, let's see ah oh, there you go wow Yeah, it's like, you need two joysticks, imagine that. Ha! Alright. Yeah, 
This is tough, man. It's bad enough me using one joystick at a time, let alone two. I think that's game over. Let's try that again. I didn't die there, but I don't know what happened. Alright, let's try this again. Alright, so let's... Uh... That was close. Did he get me? Oh. Anyway, uh, this game's too hard. <laughs> but if you had it, uh, if you had this game yourself, give it a thumbs up in there in the video. Leave some comments there and give me some pointers on how I can get a little bit better at this game. Um, but Combat Links from the Rail Software, which I think came out in. Well, I'm not sure what year it came out. I think it was 84 or 85 or something like that. Yeah, I can't see when it came out, but it's, uh, I guess this can be a really good game, but you've just got to spend some time on it. Uh, the sound, as you heard there, it's quite basic. No loading music or loading theme. Um, um, as far as helicopter simulators are concerned, I think Infiltrator is still probably perhaps one of my favorites because of, of the graphics, and it also was very difficult Um to control um, because of the number of keystrokes you had to use to turn on certain things, turn off other things. Um, there was another helicopter simulator which I never played. It was a game called Gunship, and I think that came with a, a massive owner's manual, and it was a disc only, or floppy disc only. Um, so I never had it, but I will see if I can try and get a hold of that, make a video of that in the future too. Um, but that one there, I think that's going to be a, a pretty challenging video to make. But it'll be here just uh, so you can see what it looks like. But anyway, um, as I said, leave a comment below. Um, give a thumbs up if you thought the, uh, the this game itself was, was, was any good or if you thought it sucked. Um, I don't think it sucks. I think it's actually, it can be a very good game uh, once you uh, get used to the controls. So anyway, thanks for watching. If you want uh, any special requests, drop them in the comments below and I'll be sure to get them added to the definitive playlist. Thanks again, guys, and I'll see you on the next video. Bye for now.